All right, um, I want to talk to you about data types. Data types are uh, essentially the most basic thing that you need to understand when it comes to any kind of programming language, whether it's PHP as a scripting language or if it's C++ or whatever. And for the most part, it's going to be the same across all the different languages. And so in a lot of ways, if you're just learning this stuff for the first time, then uh, this is going to serve you well in the future when you go to learn something else that's considered either scripting or um, a compiled language. Uh, now, if you've already been exposed to this stuff, like maybe you've taken a C++ class or something like that, or Java, then <clears throat> this is going to be very familiar to you. So just look at this as a recap, okay? Okay, the next thing really quickly is that we are on my website. So if you wanted to follow along, you could go up to this web address and uh, just follow along. Okay, so, and if for any reason this is moved from this web address, there would be a link in Blackboard to to show you where to go. All right, now let's start with uh, what data types are. Uh, a data type refers to the type of data that a variable can store, um, or whether it's uh, stored in a variable or not, actually. It's any, literally any type specific category of, of data, because they fall into specific categories. Um, and different categories can be manipulated in different ways. So first of all, let's talk about what a variable is. Um, this is something you should be have been exposed to, like in algebra or something, but a variable is a symbolic representation of a value. Okay, blah, what does that mean? Um, basically, you know, it, it's a substitution for something. It's a temporary meaning. So a, a really good example would be like in the English language. We use words that are si sort of like variables all the time. Um, you know, a perfect example would be the word something, actually. So you know, whenever we're not sure what specific thing it, you know, a thing is, then we might use the word something because it's unknown, um, and it could represent any number of different things at any given time. It could uh, represent, you know, a, a piece of pie. Something could represent uh, a flower. It could represent anything, right? So similar principle. Um, when you're making a variable, you always want to start with a dollar symbol. A character in PHP. Um, that's how you use variables. That's how you declare variables. Okay, so um, you could do something like this, where you're declaring a variable called something because you put a dollar symbol in front of it, and then you have an equal sign, which uh, it's a single equal sign, and it's called an assignment operator. So something equals, and then we give it a string value. We know it's a string value because it has. Uh, double quotations around it. Anything with single or double quotations around it um, typically, now not always, but typically uh, they're going to be string values, okay? Even if there's a number in it. If there's a number in it, numbers can still be part of strings um, because uh, you know, you, you can have numbers and, and alpha characters uh, mixed up together and especially like let's say it's a password or something that can be part of a string it's not actually read as uh, uh, an, an integer or uh, a decimal okay so and then next part of speech is that you have your terminator in PHP a terminator is a semicolon okay that sh should be something that's kind of familiar to you like with uh, CSS for instance CSS uses the semicolon as a terminator Okay, um, and then the next part of this, okay, so we've we've assigned something, a value, and the next thing is you'd want to uh, do something with it. All right, so uh, next line, you use the word echo, it's a command, and basically echo is something that's going to basically speak to the browser so that it will print something out to the browser, which in turn prints something out to the screen for the viewer to see, and so here I'm mixing a string with another string, okay, because I've got double quotes and I'm saying I want to eat and then next I've got the variable of something, okay, so that would actually output I want to eat cake, okay, and you would see here it says I want to eat cake. Now um, that's really I think a very useful thing to know but specifically because I'm 
mixing these two things up inside of double quotes, it's going to read the value of this variable something as its actual uh, data type value, which is a string meaning cake. Okay. Um, if you have a variable inside of double quotes, it'll work. If you have it inside of single quotes, it won't. I will talk to you more about that later when we actually start talking about quotes whenever we're dealing with strings. But right now, just recognize this part as, as uh, understanding how variables get represented. Okay, there's some basic rules for variables. Here are some hard and fast rules. Variables always start with a dollar symbol, always, in PHP. Um, we can get into some stuff later where we start talking about constants and <clears throat> things like that that don't have these uh, in front of them, but a constant is a variable of sorts, but it doesn't really vary. It is literally a constant. It stays constant. It's meaning its value doesn't change in the course of a page. So variables, things that are truly variables that will um, sort of potentially have the ability to morph their meaning or their values are going to start with a dollar symbol. The first character after the dollar symbol cannot be a number. So you couldn't say, you know, dollar sign one, two, three or something like that. You couldn't do that. It, you could do dollar symbol uh, F1. That's fine because it starts with a consonant, but you can't put a, a number in front of it. Um, <clears throat> And there, there's some reasons for that, um, other programming reasons, uh, but we won't talk about that right now. No spaces or special characters are allowed except for the underscore, which isn't really technically considered a special character. That's why you see people using underscores a lot um, in web file names and uh, folder names and stuff like that. But you can do something like this. This is legal. You could say my underscore variable. Okay. Variable names are case sensitive. So my variable, all lowercase, is not the same as my uppercase V variable. All right. Those are completely two different things. And by the way, this thing right here where it says my variable with an uppercase V, that's called camel case. Um, so that just means that, you know, literally it's got a hump in there because it's got a um, uppercase letter. But I use camel case a lot. And, um, you know, just make sure that you're consistent about what you're doing because if you start doing a lot of these things and then you forget and then you type it as a camel case or vice versa, remember these two things are not the same. Camel case my variable is different than my variable with an underscore. And it it's like it's a whole new thing. It doesn't exist. Okay, so you can't use a variable called this. That's another rule. This has special programming meeting meaning in PHP. So you can't ever call something this um, if you're trying to assign a variable a value. All right, in the next uh, mini lecture, I'm going to go ahead and start talking about um, the different types of data uh, that you can have for right now. I'm going to go ahead and end this one. So this is the end of the introduction to data type variables.